Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. <coughs> Do not follow me, I said, yet you search even so. Some doors should never be reopened. Oh, Anathara, you startled me. <coughs> of all the things to encounter in these wilds, I never expected one of our own. Have you news of the witch? You left? Was there some kind of trouble? Actually, I forget my place. When I saw you, I assumed another clan had agreed to help us. My name is Ariane. If you are not tracking Asha Belinar, can I hope you came to this place seeking Morrigan? She is a witch who has something that belongs to our people, and I came to recover it. And you? Has Morrigan wronged you as well? A friend? Of all the words associated with the Witch of the Wilds, those are the last I expected. Perhaps you can reason with her then. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had, all legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinger Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan? took what little was left. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. Help me. We both want Morrigan. And we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. And still other treasures remain with the Circle. Have you any standing to request entrance? You... said you are no longer with the people. The... then you are the one who slew the Archdemon? I knew it was one of our own, but I never expected to meet. They'll have to let us in. Masiranas, let us go immediately. <coughs>
Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. Gregor is in Denerim, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Enchantment? Enchantment! Hello, doggy. Sandal is staying at the tower for a while. The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Enchantment! Yes. I made the potty. Um... Yes. Enchantment? I've never seen so many. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. Owls? What sort of mage has an owl as a pet? You, Hound, you think you could sneak up on the mage over there? How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? Oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian.
Neither can I. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. Here they cut out your eyes for staring at their tattoos. They do not. They do. I read it somewhere. Oh, and you believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. Terrible what they did to him. They say he was force-fed so much lyrium he was bleeding from the eyes. His brain was liquefied in his skull. Can lyrium really do that? It can kill you, but... Well, you know how rumors are. Those pisses give us all a bad name. Now some Templar will take it out on an innocent mage and start the cycle all over again. Hear what's going on up in Kirkwall. Kirkwall? In the free marches, Dolt. Half of Ferelden fled there in the Blight. They say there's a refugee camp twice as big as the city. Whole place is run by Templars, though, so no one is getting in. They heard what happened here. Made them kind of jumpy. Everyone's a critic. Dog in here. And what are you doing? Be careful. You look uh, like you could probably squash me like a gnat, but I can't sit by while you mishandle innocent tomes. You, you're bending the book too much. It'll, it'll crack the spine and cause the pages to fall out. Just thinking about it is making me dizzy. I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old Elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. It's a 2,000-year-old dialect. She's right. The word is from the lost language of Arlathan, forgotten over eons of slavery. I only know a few dozen words of it, and I'm the Circle's linguist. The Luvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. You've seen one with your own eyes. So... You destroyed it? Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on. Look, Finn, he fetched me a flower. <coughs> oh, how thoughtful. It's very pretty. Slobbery, but pretty. You should just tell him to fetch a Morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. <coughs> Ah, 
Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I, um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh, well then, uh, sorry for bothering you. Well, look at the way he's staring at me. I would certainly like to see the situation resolved, but I would hate to put you in danger. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Oh, very well. It's your necks. But before you go, what's so important down there? The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. What now? These sentinels are going back to normal. We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil if we can. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. Hello? The, the shadow will consume all. Something is causing it distress. The tears in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? More 
the last of them. The Sentinels should stop trying to kill us now. Let's get back to the statue. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house. Yes, yes, we've been through that. Finn, greetings. Are you asking the statue if it's all right? It's a statue. So you'll talk to it, but it's strange to ask about its well-being? It's made of stone. Short of a hammer and chisel, nothing will hurt it. Stone eyes are no longer clouded. The darkness recedes for now. It's hard to get answers out of it. Requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled, and lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie, shielded from unworthy eyes. So you know of it. Convenient. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. What? What's that supposed to mean? Why do you think it said we wouldn't talk again? I... Oh, I'm not going to die, am I? Hello? Now, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others. If they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted. So we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. Morrigan is interested in the Alluvians. We find them, we find her. Let me come with you. I can help. Please. I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. Uh, 
I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? Ready to go when you are. Thank you for dealing with the situation in the repository. The Circle owes you. Oh, and make sure Finn behaves himself out there. Oh, you're like my mother. Stop it. Does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? Well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrand Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. And I was tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. Fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently, the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. What? Why me? The Warden's Dalish too. Grey Warden blood is... different. It wouldn't work. It has to be you, Ariane. You share the same blood as the Arlathan Elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Ah! My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. Do you? Uh, oh, no, of course not. Magical. 
We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the light of our Lathen. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? I always go oh, without magic, but this place is amazing. It is begun. <laughs> didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? the statue was capable of being literal. I should study dwarven history when I return. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled Arlathan. Magic? Special fuel? Perhaps the design of the sconces? Hey, wait up! Oh, in hindsight, we should have expected resistance. Comfortable hiding under so much stone. The dark spawn have sensed us. <laughs> to be out of the tower, Finn. I thought most mages wanted to be free. Why? Just to be outside? Do you see this splotch here on my robe? That's mud. There's no mud in the tower. I miss being cozy and dry. Ship on Finn. Sorry. Bet there's one here. Yes. Enemies approaching. What we could do if we hadn't lost this. Instead of killing them. It's true then. A small 
group of elves took refuge here. Alsterok destroyed Cad Halash, slaughtered their own, because they feared the Tevinter Imperium. Despicable. So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. I just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. Haven't heard from him since his last attempt. There! Four of the fiends ahead! Playing hide and seek is more enemies Here ahead. Comes. Ah. It is we have four lights of our Lathan. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven Ruins when you're ready. Hey, wake up. I'm sorry to bring you back here. It cannot be easy entering the place of your greatest sorrow. If you hate the other side so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I met the dog. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? More enemies ahead! I shall do it. Contagious, do you? Finished. I can feel its history and its malevolence. 
I'm sorry to bring you back here. If you could go back, would you? Would you turn down being the hero of Ferelden? Irabella's. This must be hard for you. With the Shard and the Lights of Arlathan, we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. Here. We. Go! It is the gun. Very well. In my room. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. I pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevinters probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. It might be hidden. Or only appear to those who know its location. We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Illuvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Your name is Florian Phineas... Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No. They adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. open for dragons and mirrors. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy? for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire! Some people are easily impressed.
is that? Uh, a Vartero? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? And it's glowing. We should... I think she's expecting you. Ask her about our book. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. I remained to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? So you chase me all this way to offer help? I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. Yes, I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. He is safe and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. Because the child is yours. I understand. I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. And yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. 
She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes, change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free. What I want is... is unimportant now. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Not if you are fortunate. There is one last thing I must tell you, if you will allow me. I left you a gift. The Dalish book is there, and something you will find of great interest. Goodbye, my friend.